Indeed, so time for us to celebrate one of our local superstars, a lady who for many years you've seen on your TV screens, you've heard her voice on radio, she's been on the covers of magazines, and can you believe it, after six years, she's back again. Brand new album called Did the Odite Is No. <laughs> yeah, well, it seems like the time is now. She also has uh, two beautiful kids, and she's with us in our studio. Amorbi Tony, welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much. I don't know how you do this because this is so early. We love it because we get to meet people like you. Yeah. Oh, That's I why. love your too. There we and go. I love your espresso <laughs> and in the morning for Italiano. We serve it original. But let's talk about your amazing career, some great highlights um, mm. the, the, uh, uh, over the past years. Uh, junior top, uh, top sport, road to oh, riches. That was such a long time ago. Hey? Do, do you have a secret? How do you keep yourself relevant and top of mind in an industry that I think eat it's yeah. young. I, <laughs> I think you've got to keep it real. You've got to keep it real. You've got to be who you are. For me, I wear my heart on my sleeve. What you see is what you get. I love performing. It's a passion of mine. Mm -hmm. So I think if you love what you do and you, you live it out it, with a passionate vibe yes. and you really live in the moment and you make those moments count, you can do anything you want, really. And, of course, there are times that I just want to, like, crawl into a little hole and sleep and cry because I'm just <laughs> not feeling good or whatever mm -hmm. it is. And I let myself have that. And I've learned over the years that you can't do it all by yourself. So you've got to get delegate. Okay. All right. You've graced magazine covers. You uh, have had positive press. And you've also had negative press. Mm. How do you deal with negative press? I mean, I want to talk about yeah. your music, but oh, we yeah. also want to talk about that. Absolutely. A lot of people say, well, you're in it, so you must take the negativity as it comes your way as well, mm. which is fine. Um, and I always say it's it's good when you get positive criticism. And when people say, for example, we don't like her or we don't like what she's wearing or she can't sing or I don't like her show, then that's fine because it's an opinion. But I always say when people get into your your personal life and they get into your kids' lives mm. and tell you what to do and how mm. to live your life when they haven't been walking in your shoes, that kind of hurts. And mm. I think we're all human and we yeah. all have a heart. And I'm a very sensitive person, so of course it does hit me sometimes mm. when I, when I, especially when it's not true. Mm. When you read headlines and you kind of go, oh, did I say that? And, and a lot of times I laugh about it, but there are times certainly at one point in my life where I would be with my kids, you know, in the trolley, shopping and whatnot, and you pass the magazines and you yeah. go, <gasps> and then you just go, oh, look, look there, do you want some chocolates? Do you want some? <laughs> <laughs> look the and other way. Yeah. Look the other way. But, you know, you've got to handle it. And yeah. I, I suppose I've been through it and I'm probably going to go through more of it in my yeah. life. But it's the way you handle it. And you've got to do it with grace and you've got to take what comes your way and deal with it. Um, and never fight fire with fire. I always believe that you've got to be the better person. Yeah. It's sometimes are, difficult. Are they handling it well, though, the children? I mean, especially... Oh, Yeah. yeah. Uh, my, no, my kids, my kids are not phased by fame or mommy singing or their daddy who used to be on stage, you know, on, listen to me, on stage, on, stage. on the rugby well, field. On the rugby stage, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, so they're not phased at all. And in fact, they, they don't like it when people come up to them in a shopping centre and say, can I have a pick or whatever yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. So they go, why are they pick, taking pictures of you, you know? Mm. Um, and when my music plays on the radio, Kylie will come to me and say, Mommy, your song's on. And then she'll <laughs> go, OK. And then she goes off doing her own thing. <laughs> but Jordan's like, yeah, I heard you yesterday. You know, he's just <laughs> like, whatever. Yeah. But, um, and I'm so happy for that. But I, yeah. do, I do bring them up... Um, as normal as possible, yeah. I drop them off in my pyjamas at school because I'm not a morning person. So I put on the glasses and Jordan's like, Mommy, please don't say goodbye to me and just kiss me at the window because you've got no makeup on and your breath smells. Oh, I'm like, oh. thanks. Wow. <laughs> See, kids are like, honest. And where's your high heels? Yeah. So yeah. he's, he's kind of used to that. But my kids are just, they, they're just such beautiful souls. Yeah. And they, Amor, and they, we want to talk oh about gosh. how you've evolved and throughout all the years and we're going to talk to you yes. about yes. Uh, about you and with you later on. <laughs> <laughs> and about your music, I don't know what else is happening. We'll get into that, but listen, a very exciting uh, weekend ahead, especially if you are a petrol head. Uh, Graham's got the details.